Ladies and gentlemen, behold the majesty of Halo Universe Series 1, a brand new blind bag series that is set to change everything about how we collect this product. Over the last year and a half, Halo has released three different blind bag series catered around Halo Infinite, Series 1, 2, and 3. And after a while, people were saying, yeah, okay, but what about everything else? So Mega said, don't you worry, we're releasing Halo Universe. And this is going to be a huge branching off point for the company Mega. They can now make Halo Infinite sets and Halo Universe sets, and we've seen that is already being established with the new Winter Contingency set, Sand Trap, and Red Team Charge. Like, they are all going to be such epic sets. Halo Universe comes out with Halo 2 figures, like the Marine, the Brute, the Grunt. We got Halo Combat Evolved Spartans, Halo Wars 2 Elite, and a Halo Infinite Spartan Esther. And they are all looking so fantastic, but we are only here for one figure today. I will have a full unboxing, a full review of Halo Universe soon. I actually had a preview review with Kevin Hurd from Halo Collector. You can check that video out right now. And I'm going to do a full unboxing soon, maybe even a full box unboxing. But right now, I'm thinking about that monkey. I got monkeys on my mind. And not just one monkey, <laughs> six. Six Halo 2 Brutes. We're gonna cut them all open today, build them up. I'm so excited, man. Like, this Brute is unreal. It's got a lot of Tartarus molding, but then the head is completely new. It's got the return of the Brute Plasma Rifle. It's such an epic figure. The second I saw it, I fell deeply in love with the brand new generation of Craigs. A hairy Craig. Craig Anniversary, Halo 2 Craig. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, I really hope it's the monkey. Yes, it is. <laughs> I coded all of these. So I think they're all going to be the uh, the brute. We'll see, though. So we've got the nice chest. He's looking very ripped there. There's no variation in colors here. It's just plain, but that's okay with me because all of the details can be found on his legs. He's got these toes poking out, which are really nice. We've also seen some nice painted toe detailing with the new jackal. Hop this one together. And we're going to build six of them today. Six, <laughs> six gorillas. Actually, how does this go on? Let's see. Oh, actually, we, I don't think you have to take it off at all. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty sick, eh? Wow. There's uh, almost no effort required there. With the grunts from all the new blind bags, you have to take the arms off, then put the two pieces of armor on, put the uh, arms back in. The victor especially is such a difficult one to build. But there we go. That is so easy. Just going to pop that in. Arr! Some of them have like an obvious pop, some don't. See, that's not gone in properly. It is quite fiendishly difficult. It should be easy. <laughs> and then sometimes the knees buckle. Okay, well, additional torso popping will be done off camera after this video. We're going to focus on building these brutes up. And I've said this a lot. Look at that. Wow. So that just... Yo, that just goes on top. I I've seen now on the picture... Yeah, okay, the black belt goes on the other side of the armor. But I guess, you know what, I might have some with the left strap, some with the right strap. Like, why not? You could orientate it, couldn't you? So let's do just that. I guess instead of this side, then it'll go on this side. It's not really built for this side, but we're going to make it work. And then the head pops in. Look at that. Finishing my sentence, I have noticed with a lot of these new figures, when you see pictures of them online, they could be McFarlane figures, man. Like, they're so detailed for the size. That's what got me into Mega, really. Like, I collected Mega Constructs and I had this YouTube channel for a while, but when Super Articulation came along, I was like, this is just exceptional. That red plasma rifle, it's not going to be detailed. You know, we never have painted weapons in blind bags. But look at that. That is the first of our Halo 2 Anniversary Brutes, and that is just exceptional. So cool. So I guess the second one, we're going to alternate between the left and right straps. Let's see what we've got. Hopefully these are all Brutes. Three, two, one. There we go. Let's have a look at the instruction manual this now. This is the first time I've checked out the instruction manual for Halo Universe. Yeah, it's just plain. They could really do a lot more than this just <laughs> just a green field. It's like, come on, man. It's Halo Universe. You could literally have the background from anything. You could have like high charity. You could have a Halo ring. You could have anything you want and you go for a field <laughs> with a rock. <laughs> 
Wow, I mean, it's, it's, it is unimaginative. You know, I just recently unboxed a load of the new Black Series figures from Mega Constructs, and they are from all different franchises, and the instruction manuals for them are sick. Like, they've got a lot of detail put into them. So I guess, yeah, it, it, even on the other side, it, it doesn't really, like, rest properly. It only sort of fixes in when you pop the head on. That is so cool, man. And Mega did say on a blog post they wanted to have the uh, helmet removable, like the new molds, but they said it just didn't feel right. You know, a lot of the newest wave of figures the last couple of years, especially like elites, marines, I mean marines have actually been the one to get the treatment now. Like, it took a while for the marines to catch up, but grunts, jackals, all the same, they all have a hole in the top of their head. Which, you know, I don't particularly like. I wish the helmets were molded better so they just popped on top, because the hole in the helmet literally means you can't really use your figure without a helmet. And then it's also funny to me, because people are like, well yeah, but that means you can switch things. You would switch stuff, but you would never have one without a helmet because there's always an even amount of helmets compared to figures. So, I don't know, it just, it seems a bit strange to me to have a hole in the head, but I, I get it. I, like, I'm not a toy designer. I'm sure there's a very good reason why those holes are there. I guess if I had a bucket of figures and all the helmets were just jumbled about, I wouldn't be that happy about it. So, ugh. yep, these, uh, these don't really pop on. Usually you would get a little, like a little popping noise when you click the torso in, but no, not with these ones. Look at that. So that is an example of the belt being on both different sides. Which one do you prefer? Do you like it on the left side? side of the brute's body or the right side? I don't know. They both actually look really great. The difference with this one is you have the neck piece sort of like hanging over. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of customization there. I think we'll try and do it different for all of them. Brute number three, monkey number three. Here we go. <laughs> I'm like holding my breath each time. I'm like, oh my gosh, what if it, what if actually one of them is not a monkey? And that was the whole point of the video. I coded these in a rush. I didn't actually like feel the bags. So it's a chance. It's a chance I made a mistake. And where's that belt? Where's the black belt? I think I just saw it. Did I knock it off somehow? Okay, belt recovered. It's always difficult when it's black as well. You usually can't see it on the floor. So we've got the left and the right side. On the picture, it shows it on the left side of the brute. So uh, we're gonna try something different again. We're gonna put it on the left side, sure. But then this time, this one, we're gonna have this on this side as well. We're gonna have them both on the left side. We're gonna see if that works out. Pop the head on. Yeah, there you go, it works. We could try and have the elastic belt over the top of it. No, no, okay, if we have it off to the side there. That's nice, that's nice. This is literally, you can customize your brutes. Like, that's awesome. With most figures, it's one way is the only way, but this just works, this is dope. I don't even think it's probably what they intended. It's just what I'm gonna do, <laughs> why not? There's our three different variations of monkey, all with slightly different appearance appearances based on their belt and their neck piece. And let's go for the fourth one. Three, two, one, boom. It's another gorilla. It's just so funny. Sometimes I think I'm overdoing the uh, the brute meme. But then I saw a comment yesterday and it was like, every time you do a brute meme, it's just so good. <laughs> I'm like, well, there you go. Every time I do a monkey meme specifically, like <laughs> always. This is also a right side. But then we're gonna rotate the neck piece and have it different as well. <laughs> Again, just dope customization. I don't know what we're gonna do after the fourth though, because that is basically the four options. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. The Craig meme wasn't even born in Halo 2. <laughs> I've seen a lot of the Craig Easter eggs. I'm yet to find them yet because I am very, very slowly playing through Halo Infinite's campaign. I'm basically playing as slowly as possible, but eventually I will get there and see those beautiful Craig memes. They literally, these do not pop in properly. I, I guess they go in softly. Maybe that's, I mean, it might be a new innovation. It might be a new design that they just like slowly or softly sort of pop in. I don't know. Also, this guy's gonna be right-handed. Why not? <laughs> I realize none of them have been right-handed so far. Two on the, oh, this one's kind of gone over the, it looks like it's gone over the front, which is kind of interesting. Interesting. So they all look different. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. That means we're two thirds of the way. Let's get the next monkey out. I hope you enjoy these kind of videos. I've got a brand new tripod setup, and I tell you, it's a game changer for me. It's making this work so much more enjoyable because in the past, I've not been able to uh, record videos like I want, man. Like, on, ooh, hello, can we try this? Can we try putting it on top? We'd then have to secure this. Can we just force it on? Yo, there we go. Another variation. <laughs> I mean, who knows? I don't know what these belts are. That makes sense to me. Hell yeah, that's another variation. Oh, that means we can do it on the opposite side and that means we have six different Craigs. Tell you what, in the comments down below, why don't we name this Halo 2 anniversary 
Brute officially. What's the Halo 2 anniversary Brute going to be called? Because he's not Craig, right? Look at that. Oh, that's so... I didn't expect uh, to do this in this video, to be clear. But we've got five different Brutes. Like, they're all different. So, that that's awesome, man. And then let's just spill the guts of this Brute all over the all over his brothers. <laughs> he just got blown up by a frag grenade. And yeah, there's nothing left of him. Mourn your brother. All right, let's spread him out. And let's build the final monkey. We're going to put this on top, right? There we go. Yeah the other side so we have all this funkiness at the front let's see if it'll work i guess we could take it even further and pop it right round look at that it's like a full-on chest piece whoa i'm drunk with power that's really close to the neck joint so i'll alleviate that pressure a bit by putting this on this side of the brute and then the helmet just cram it on top yeah <laughs> we got so many variations this one might be my favorite this is like an ammunition like chest it's like an iron man he's just gonna pull some lightning out of it or something whoa Maybe I'll find that in a few days' time, all of these monkeys have just, like, popped out of their torsos, but we'll see. <laughs> the final one gets his base plate. You thought this would just be six plain monkeys, but no, I have taken it to a different level. That is some dope customization, and I really hope after seeing this video, you do the same, because that's so dope. Like, look at it. They all look different. They all have some variation to them, and I, I'm excited about that. Like, I love customizing my figures, but I also, I don't like pop and swap so much, because I want to keep my figures together, and I don't want to lose all the pieces between loads of different figures so this is a great alternative they all genuinely have a bit of a different personality about them i would say this is the leader with this like really menacing looking chest piece even this one he doesn't have like any features on his front it's just one strap all right so thank you very much for tuning in today guys i really hope you enjoyed this glorious chimpanzee review we got six of these and as you can tell by the title this is part one i'm gonna hopefully collect more and more and more and more of these as many as humanly possible like like, I want a huge army to recreate some kind of high charity situation. Like, I want as many of these brutes as possible. If you ask me, they are, like, the best figures that Mega's made this year. Maybe uh, top 10 ever made because they've just got so much great molding. They borrow some pieces from Tartarus, but that new head is really great. And I'm actually very happy that Mega didn't make a separate helmet mold. I love how this is all integrated together. I'm just hoping that after this figure comes out, Mega will make a brute honor guard. I made a video of my top 10 Halo predictions, like figures that I want to see, and that was one of them. I, j I really want to see it in the next wave of Halo Heroes. I think it's about time. So you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and the monkeys are signing off. Whoa.